Well, hello, hello, friends, and welcome back again to my channel. This is a fall decorate with me in my dining room. If you saw my last video, you got to see three completely different tablescape ideas. In this video, you will see the one that I chose to keep on my table for this fall season, as well as the rest of the decor that I put in my dining room. Sit back and relax, grab yourself a coffee, or decorate along with me. Either way, I'm so glad that you're here, and I hope that you enjoy this video. I feel like one of the most inexpensive and easy things that you can do when decorating for a season or a holiday is to add colorful throws and pillows. Of course, it makes your home so cozy, which is something that I think everyone aims toward, and it just adds that extra bit of nostalgia for whenever you are a child, and you can find so many different options from Dollar General to Hobby Lobby to more expensive stores, but I just choose to go with whatever I like the best and complement my home. So these small pillows I purchased last year, I believe I got them from Dollar General, and the throw I purchased from Amazon several years ago when I was doing photography. Most of my pumpkin decor comes from Hobby Lobby, and I'm really pleased with how this simple little area in my dining room turned out. In case you are new, I would love to introduce myself. My name is Elizabeth and I live in Southeast Ohio with my high school sweetheart, my husband of 13 years, Wes, and our four kids, McKenna, Briella, Layton, and Caroline, who are ages three through 11. We love to do things as a family. And I, of course, am a homemaker, as you can tell from my videos. And I love encouraging other moms and other women all around the world to decorate their homes and make it a beautiful, cozy, safe space for their family. Social media some days can make us feel like we're on top of the world and other days it can make us feel like we are just in the deepest valley. I just wanna encourage you today that if you do not have this amount of fall decorations, don't worry about it and don't compare yourself to others. Go to Dollar Tree, go wherever you can afford and purchase a few items just to cozy the main living spaces of your home. Most of my decor I have purchased over the last 13 years of our marriage. In fact, that angel on the top of the shelf reminds me every year, each fall and Christmas, because I have a Christmas one as well, about how far my husband and I have come. I purchased that when I was still in college, but we were married and we were barely making ends meet. Wes worked in Columbus, Ohio, which was two and a half hours from where we actually live, so I only saw him on the weekends. And we prayed and prayed that he would get a job where we lived. And so he finally did about six months into our marriage and um, we were able to finally be able to afford to live a little bit more freely and enjoy life a little bit more. Over the years, of course, things have gotten better, and we are so grateful and thank God for all the blessings that He, have give, he has given us. So I just want to tell you today, don't compare yourself to others. Don't compare your home to my home. Just let me be a little bit of an encouragement to you and let you know that you will get there someday. Just keep working hard and keep God first. And remember to love others, encourage others, and be thankful for the things that you do have instead of mourning the things that you wish you had. My channel here on YouTube is still in the baby stages. I'm so grateful to have gained several new followers over the last week. So welcome. So I'm so thankful that you are here and I'm so glad that we can be friends. If you have not subscribed yet, please scroll down and hit that red subscribe button and then hit the bell and click all so that you get notifications every time I post a new video. This helps me grow and it helps my channel get out there. It's just such a fun thing that I get to do. We all know as mothers that we all need a creative outlet or we need an outlet to do something that we really enjoy. Decorating, cleaning, organizing, sharing my home and my ideas and my mom hacks is something that I love to do. I love encouraging other women and I hope that I can encourage you every day or every week as I post new videos.
So I'm wondering if your kids have gone back to school yet. My kids start on Wednesday, August the 24th, and they are eager and anxiously awaiting that morning. They are super excited, but McKenna especially, bless her heart, is pretty nervous. She keeps telling me that she keeps getting chills because she is so nervous about it, which cracks me up because she's going to be in fifth grade, which is the highest grade in the school, and she knows basically every person in the school. So it's just really cute, and I am really excited for her to be a fifth grader because that's when I really started to remember, or those are like really the memories that I have from school. They started in fifth grade. And she is just a me reincarnated. And I know that she's going to enjoy this year so much. Um, she will be in fifth grade, like I said. And then Briella will be in third grade, which blows my mind because she's still supposed to be at this little tiny curly haired redhead. Um, but she is growing up on me just like the rest of them. And I am really proud of her as well. She is a smart girl. She is so thoughtful and she's really excited to get to go back to school so she can play football with her friends at recess. Um, she loves football. And then I have my little guy, Layton. He will be in first grade. He is excited for lunch, which is such a boy thing to say. It cracks me up and I'm excited for him to get to go back and have school lunch, which is crazy because I'm sure mommy's lunch is way better. <laughs> In case you are wondering, Caroline, who is my three-year-old, will be staying at home with me. None of my kids went to preschool. I actually did kind of like a home preschool at home and taught them as much as I could before they went off to kindergarten. So that's what she will be doing as well. We'll be doing a lot of playing and learning and coloring and playing with Play-Doh and watching videos and movies and cooking fun meals at home. So that's what she's going to be doing with me. And I'm pretty excited for it, especially when with fall coming because fall time is my favorite time of year. And um, I get to cook all those yummy fall foods. I would love to hear about the traditions that you have in your family when it comes to fall. Um, some things that we do is that we go to a pumpkin farm that is local in our area and we pick out all sorts of pumpkins and gourds and they have this big wall that you get to climb up behind and stand on the platform. It looks like this big pyramid of pumpkins whenever you're up on the top. So that's pretty neat and it's owned by just the sweetest people. They actually gave us a bunch of um, extra pumpkins last year just because the kids wanted more than we were going to buy and they they were like here just take these and so they gave us a bunch of those little mini pumpkins um, funny story I, we actually have a pumpkin plant growing in our front yard because of my rotted pumpkin from last year so give me a thumbs up if you also leave your pumpkins out a little bit too long I hate to say it, but I usually do leave out a couple. Now, not all of them. The ones on the back steps, I got, I threw, no, I threw those away. But the ones on the front, I kind of let them rot. And now we have a pumpkin plant. So we'll see if we get any pumpkins this year. <laughs> So now we've come to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and all of your support. If you would, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you comment below and give me a big thumbs up and make sure you introduce yourself. I'd love to get to know you. If you'd like to see more content, you can follow me over on Instagram at Clary's Do Life. And you can also look me up on Facebook at Clary's Do Life. I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed evening and I will see you in the next video. Bye.